What is up, Cog Squad? We back on the coop today. <laughs> She's telling us what we need to do on the chicken coop. Shouting out orders. I think everything we need's down there. Dead battery. It's time. dead battery. It's it's fixing to go dead. I need to make sure it's not a loose connection. But that sounds like the battery is getting weak. Look at Tip. He's swinging. Tip is swinging. I hope we can get him before he... He might jump out by the time we get down there. Yeah. What's up, Tip? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I brought you a little surprise yesterday. The uh, shavings? <laughs> I got enough for both coops. Awesome. Seven bags. Y'all awesome. reckon that's gonna do it? Uh, I think it'll do pretty well. I, I think put five in here and two in the other one. I think it'll work. Well, if not, we'll just have to add to it. Add to it. And by the way, um, we can't slack off today. She's watching! <laughs> God, she's watching us. Look how squared off her toes are. <laughs> her toes don't really look like that. <laughs> but she's barking out <laughs> orders. <laughs> That's where I screwed up on the last one. What's up guys? We are back and we're gonna start back on the coop. The other day I tried to put this soffit on, not soffit, the fascia board on cause Mrs. Kakiwa had a migraine that day and I got one board up and realized it was just way too hard. But you're over your migraine. I'm over it. Over your cold. I'm over it. So all is good. I got a little runny nose, but I'm okay. I'm a tough farmer. You're a tough farmer. <laughs> I know because I had to make you stay in because you wanted to come out and help me. I was going to come out the other day when I was really sick. and There's just no sense. She won't get well. So we're going to get this fascia board up. And I got this little bit of soffit on this side left to do in the corners. Once we do this, hey, we'll about, light. We'll we're about moving ready. We're getting close. We need to, like we got to buy some trim for this spot here. And then, what did we decide we were going to put up there? Metal? I think that's what we decided. It's like an old piece of tin to go up there. Because we didn't want to buy a whole nother sheet of that side and just for... Well, it wasn't necessarily just that. We thought that we were going to have to buy a whole nother gallon of paint because it's this color and we're out of that. Oh, that's true too, yeah. But now we plan to build a brooder and I'm going to have to buy another gallon of it. So, who knows what we'll do. If I have to buy a gallon of paint, it won't be the end of the world. Mary Carl did ask me this morning, Mama, when are we going to be able to move the chickens in? <laughs> it's getting close. It really is getting close. All right. Well, now we just oh, need to... you know what? What? I'm the one holding the drills. That means I have to do the work. <laughs> I just need you to uh, hold it up there. Okay. Because you're not always the best at getting the screw in there real good without stripping it out. What? <laughs> Even a star bit you can strip out. I would admit that I just don't have what it takes to <laughs> put the pressure on the screw to keep from stripping it out. <laughs> but if I if I was in a tight, I bet I can make it work. So I'm gonna mark where the joy star so we know where to screw the Well I uh, gave you a pencil but I don't know where it I is. I got in my back pocket. Hey, should I say anything? About what? It's quiet. Oh it is quiet. <laughs> oh, I heard them. Yeah, I, I see why you needed some help. 26 and a half? Yep, 26 and a half. All right. Oh, I know what you're going to need now. What? That's speed square. Jason loves a speed square. <laughs> I do love the speed square. Baby, don't you need to get the speed square? Y'all still watching, girls? We're getting it done. We got like three inspectors. Four foot and a quarter. Can you do that? Yep. Four foot and a quarter inch. Yeah. So 48 and a quarter. 48 and a quarter. Four foot and one quarter. Coming up. Coming up. So our plan was... We have bought 
T111 siding for the quail house, which is what this is. But it's different designs, and what what uh what Mrs. Carkeel and Mary Carl bought, they Mary didn't have Carl a piece. Was sure that that was the same, and you wouldn't tell, you know, if it's not side by side. But that other, this gap's thinner. It's different. It's a There's different. There's no sense in cutting on a piece if it doesn't match. And we're gonna put it above there. Uh, 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 I want to know how many times we've had a plan to go up there and it's yeah. been bothered. So then we thought about just putting a piece of rustic tin there because it would look cool. But then we decided, well, since we got the siding, we would do the siding. But now we don't have the siding. So now we're thinking about doing the tin because that's how we roll. All right, let me go get some tin. All right, I think this right here. Oh yeah, this piece will work. That piece and that piece. Those are my pieces. And that's why I save stuff for occasions just like this. Cause you never know when you might need a piece of tin. What are you doing, Scott? Somebody will take you turkey hunting. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at him giving you a stink eye. <laughs> Thomas sitting over there, is he? <laughs> Thomas is gonna start gobbling. <laughs> Might bite you. <laughs> See? See, that's why I got that's why I got poop on my ladder right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah, the tin turned out pretty darn good. We'll put some trim on each side of it, and this will look great. It's starting to rain again on us. Imagine that. We haven't seen the boss lady. We have not seen peaches at all today. Well, she's under I mean, the this morning we saw her, but. She's under the carport. Because she knows it's going to rain. She ain't no dummy. Ain't that right, Fox? Foxy, you're way better help than peaches. I can get tell you that. Foxy, you got lipstick on the side of your face. Look at it. Somebody's been kissing Foxy. on you. Foxy. Look. Who's been kissing on you? I like your notepad. I'm glad you're doing I'm fixing a sneeze. <laughs> Look out, Foxy. <laughs> Chickens looked at you like you was crazy. I feel like I'm crazy. I'm still battling this cold. All you, right. like, you like my list? I like your list. I got a sneeze in me. You got your list. Got it. All right. This is what we need. So our next plan of action is, is to basically put a porch on the front. That way we can put the waterers on there. We're going to call it the eating porch. The eating porch. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Rick, can we get us a sign made that says eating porch? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the waterers can go in there. Their feeders can go in there. And it would be dry and not get all so muddy and, and the nasty. And the feed barrels can go into the there. The feed barrels can go into there. I'm and we've been side. calling it a coop, but I've been saying in the last couple of videos, it's really not a coop. It's really a hen house. Yeah. A the, chicken house. The outside world will be the coop. Yeah, because we free range our oh, chickens. Look. Hey, we Pink. have a friend. What's up, Pink? Pink, are we talking about the chicken coop? You got any ideas you want to add to it? Maybe a cat door? Yeah, we'll put a cat door in it. We definitely need Pink to keep the mice out. Can you handle that? We don't have any mice in the barn. Yeah. Jewel, I need some room, Jewel. And Jewel ain't gonna miss her ride. Not gonna miss her ride at all. How about this cat? All we need is a monkey. We're getting one. <laughs> God, kill monkeys. Quick garden update while I'm out here. It is uh, looking wonderful. It really is. You can see my shallots and garlic are doing. Look how big that garlic is. How great it's doing. My carrots are starting to get super thick now. Uh, I need to weed them, but they're looking great. My lettuce which wasn't looking good is now looking pretty darn good. This is the rutabagas that we planted. Look at there. They're looking great. I've been keeping the rows pretty weeded, but sometimes some weeds get in between here. 
and with all this crazy hot weather it um it's caused the weeds to really kind of pop the collards are looking good actually the collard greens are looking great so it's right now super stoked about the fall garden even though it's really late but hey we'll take it better late than never oh look at the all top turnips in about a week or two them all top turnips will be ready and so that top soy of course the garlic the carrots and the shallots will overwinter which means i won't pick those until springtime or in possibly late spring but it looks great i still got this area here but we plan on starting some lettuce seeds tomorrow if it's gonna be raining all day start me some lettuce seeds inside i just uh i just wanted you to know we um we did get the soffit pretty much finished but the corners started raining on us and i uh, got the fascia board done and then that hole above the doors we got it done too so um so you should be happy on the progress we made today and i didn't mean to wake you up going back to sleep <laughs> If you like laughing, smiling, and having fun, and want to know what it's like living on a family farm, hit that subscribe button right over here. Also, I'll put a couple other videos up that you might enjoy. And if you're interested in any cocky or farm gear, like our new hats that are out, and any type of shirt, check out that link right down below me. That'll take you to our website. Y'all be good.